And good afternoon as we continue our live coverage from the U.S. Open in New York. Championship weekend continues under the roof. Billie Jean King National Tennis Center hosts to record crowds this fortnight. Witnesses to history, they only hope. As last night, it was Serena Williams into her fourth major Grand Slam final since her return to the game. She once again, two sets away from that record time 24th Grand Slam title. And tonight, could it be Rafael Nadal's turn? The 12-time French Open champion, though, was looking to pick up his second U.S. Open title in just the last three years, pulling within one of Roger Federer's all-time mark of 20 Grand Slams. Unimaginable success from two living legends and the upstarts who stand in the way. The tennis and their stories continue live. I don't like to talk much about myself. <laughs> Story says that I have been a good fighter on court. I am not the only one. There is a, <laughs> a lot of ones that fight a lot. I know Rafa also really well. I think he's the greatest fighter ever in this sport. I was dreaming about this when I was a child. So now I'm trying to keep going. It's gonna be tough for sure against him. So why not? I think the past six, seven months have been pretty rough for me. Little by little, hopefully, things are starting to fall into their place and it's pretty special to me. I can have a temper on the court. When you sleep tonight, I won because of you. The more you do this, the more I will win. I said it before the tournament that uh, I would be satisfied uh, with the quarterfinal, but I still want to try to win uh, two more matches. Continue to give me this energy. You are the best. I achieved the four semifinals of the four Grand Slams this year. That's a lot. It's unbelievable what he's doing. I think it's close to perfection. This is something that is not that easy to do, so... Um, bravo. I need to play my best, and I really believe that I can do it. And I hope. <laughs> And I welcome you to the men's semifinals presented by Fidelity Investments. First match is Daniil Medvedev and Grigor Dimitrov, followed by Rafael Nadal and Matteo Berrettini. First time they've ever played each other. The rain's pushed aside for just a bit on this cold football weather feeling type of day. I welcome you again to the Fountain Plaza presented by American Express. Hi, everyone. A great weekend begins right now with Mary Jo Fernandez and John McEnroe. I'm Chris McKendry. Rafa Nadal, John, once again, doing so well on a hard court. I mentioned two of the last three U.S. Open titles could be his. For the well, well of first play. of all, I like your color, uh, your outfit. You guys um, are matching. Did you coordinate it's a, it's this? It's the first time I've worn me purple out. in years, and all of a sudden, we're matching. We've, but we've been together too long now <laughs> over these two weeks. She said it, not me. <laughs> But as far as Nadal, you know, we did that opening and uh, we talked about effort. You know, there's a connection between doing well and trying hard. Hopefully more of the younger players will figure that out before it's too late. But this is, you know, one of the all-time efforts, obviously. And Rafa, you know, 18, I'm Mary Jo, I, I apologize here, but you know, if he wins this, which it looks like it's his to win for sure, that your husband and, a, and, and yep. an agent of Roger Federer, that you realize that he's only going to be, be one, one, away, one and, away. I know, but if anybody's going to break that record, it's it, no it should be no, it should be Rafa. <laughs> I mean, he's a class act. He's one of the greatest people I know. And what impresses me is this, this is his 15th U.S. Open. He started playing here in 2003, 
And when you watch him out there, it seems like it's his first one. He plays with so much passion, so much love for the sport. And in fan week, when we were watching him practice, he had three a days. Did you ever have three a days, John? I did once have two a days. Okay. Once or twice. But but you know that's <laughs> Roger also loves to play. You know so again you know effort, you know loving the game, going out there and embracing competitions, what it's all about. Roth is one of the best ever. I thought Connors tried hard, so I watched this guy play. So p p people, fans, players respect and the, pl the fans get pleasure out of seeing this guy. Berrettini, you know, that's the second one. It gives him a couple more hours to recover. But it's hard to imagine after four hours against Monfils emotionally and physically, and then his first semi, that he's going to be able to do a number on uh, Rafa. But he's going to swing for the fences. He's got the biggest forehand and I've seen in ages. Yeah. And also he's got that pretty big serve as well. Uh, first matchup is Dimitrov and Medvedev. Medvedev, he's young, he's big. Dimitrov also young, but he's been around the top 10 for a long time until he fell out to about 78. That's where he came here to the U.S. Open. In fact, John, six weeks ago, Dimitrov, the U.S. Open Series in Atlanta, lost to a player ranked in the top. 405. He's a mechanical engineer from Georgia Tech, and he beat Dimitrov. <laughs> How does Dimitrov find himself in this situation? Well, that's called rock bottom. Um, but the, the thing about Grigor is that somehow, along with the help of Mr. Agassi, who we've heard of, and Radek Stepanek, they've been trying to keep this guy to keep working at it. Something's going to change. So the good news is that he's fit. And he's healthy. You know, he's had that problem with the shoulder. He'll tell you, and anyone around his camp will tell you, that's a big reason why he dropped from three in the world a year and a half ago to now 78. However, he had no confidence at all. So, you know, a good guy needs good luck. He had that yeah. George default that he's had a great draw. And let's face it, uh, he's got a shot. The longer it goes, the better chance he's got yeah, of winning. he's super fit. And against Roger... As the match progressed, he got better. He won the longer rallies, and that's what he's going to need to do today against Medvedev. But I love Medvedev, though, because we need a bad he's guy. A, yeah, he's a little bit like you. That, you can relate. But this guy brings <laughs> it, and it's going to be interesting to watch. Hopefully, he's healthy. Yes, he is a guy that New York's going to love to hate or just love hate his love. antics. Exactly. <laughs> that's a good way of putting it. Here's Tom Rinaldi with Grigor Dimitrov. Grigor, it's been